Imagine ripping through the sky at supersonic or even hypersonic speeds, like the pilots featured in the Top Gun movie franchise. Training to have the skills necessary in order to fly state-of-the-art fighter jets that are capable of such speeds requires years of intense study and training, not to mention thousands of hours of both simulated and real-world flight experience. Only a select number of qualified professionals with these skills, nerves of steel, and cat-like reflexes meet such requirements. Even so, there exists a strong community of innovative, aerospace aeronautic enthusiasts who have found a way to achieve a similar adrenaline rush through the use of RC technology. Welcome to Mini Top Gun. For those of you who are not familiar with RC model jets, they're basically miniature versions of full-size military jets. The main difference is that they are powered by a smaller turbine engine and are controlled remotely instead of by a pilot sitting in a cockpit. And although these flight-worthy models may not be able to break the sound barrier quite yet, they can still reach impressive speeds and perform death-defying maneuvers, just like the ones we see in Top Gun. So how did we get to this point of extreme innovation in RC technology? How are these planes able to fly so insanely fast? And is there even a limit to how fast they can really go? In this video, we'll be answering all of these questions, so make sure to stick around until the end when we reveal the world's fastest RC jet ever made, plus a new form of RC flight that has turned the entire experience of flying RC planes on its head. While the history of aviation dates back to the 5th century in China with the invention of kites, for time's sake, we're going to speed right past Leonardo da Vinci and his ornithopter, along with helium airships and even the Wright brothers themselves, all the way to the early 20th century where this story begins. At this time, hobbyists and inventors first began experimenting with remote control technology for model aircraft. In the 1920s and 1930s, model airplanes began to appear, using primitive control systems with limited range and maneuverability. During World War II, significant advances in aviation, radio technology, and the use of remote control technology in military applications led to further developments in RC model planes. After the war, hobbyists and companies began to produce more advanced and reliable radio-controlled systems, allowing for greater control and increased maneuverability. In the 1950s and 1960s, this practice began to grow in popularity. Entire clubs and organizations were formed to promote the hobby, and competitions were held to show off the capabilities of the the latest models on the market. In the 1970s, advances in technology led to the development of smaller and more powerful radio control systems, as well as the use of new materials such as foam and plastic, which allowed for the production of more lightweight and durable models. In the 1980s, RC model planes continued to evolve with the introduction of new types of designs capable of going faster than ever before. Today, the hobby of RC model planes continues to ascend to new heights, with a wide variety of options available for fans of all skill levels. From small indoor models to large-scale outdoor models, and even custom-built replicas of well-known icons like this F-18 Super Hornet, the MiG-28, or even this SR-71 Blackbird. As it turns out, the world of RC model jets is not just about flying. Half the fun for many people is the process of designing, building, and customizing the aircraft itself. While an aerodynamic shape is no doubt important to go fast, the real secret to reaching top speeds lies in the construction of a quality, scaled-down jet engine. Jet engines are classified into different types based on their operating principles, such as turbofans, turboshafts, turboprops, turbojets, ramjets, and scramjets. All of these types have different design features and different thrust generation mechanisms, but they all use the same basic principle of generating thrust by compressing and heating air, or in layman's terms, suck, squeeze, bang, and blow. To understand how this is done, we'll have to take a closer look inside a real jet engine. The basic components of a jet engine include the fan, the compressor, the combustion chamber, the turbine blades, the mixer, and the nozzle. The fan, usually made of titanium, sucks in air through the front of the engine. The compressed air which enters through the fan is sped up and then split into two different channels. One channel of this air travels through the center of the engine's core, while the second channel bypasses the center and travels upwards through a duct surrounding the core, continuing on through the back of the engine. The first part of the engine's core is the compressor, which is made up of a 
series of blades attached to a shaft. The compressor increases the air pressure which initially traveled through the fan by squeezing it into progressively smaller areas. The high pressure air is then forced into the most explosive part of the engine, the combustion chamber. Within this chamber, the oxygen in the compressed air is mixed with jet fuel and then ignited using a spark, aka a glow plug. The heat produced by this hot expanding gas can reach temperatures over 2000 degrees, which is why it's important for the combustion chamber to utilize materials like ceramic, which can withstand extremely high temperatures. Next, the high temperature gas flows out of the combustion chamber which then drives a set of turbine blades near the back of the engine. The energy that was produced through the combustion process rotates these turbine blades at an extremely fast rate. The spinning turbine also drives the rotation of the compressor, since they are attached to the same ball bearing shaft. The mixer combines the high temperature air from the combustion chamber with the cooler air we mentioned earlier that was bypassed in the fan. This cooler air acts to decrease the noise of the engine while also increasing thrust to propel the plane forward. Last but not least is the nozzle, aka the exhaust duct of the engine. The airflow which passed the turbine, in addition to the cooler air that bypassed the core of the engine, produces forward thrust when exiting the nozzle in a high velocity stream of gas, effectively propelling the plane forward. We have Sir Isaac Newton and his third law of motion to thank for that. Other major components within a turbine jet airplane include a series of control systems that regulate the flow of air, electricity, and fuel to the engine. For more complex builds, lubrication and cooling systems are also essential to keep the engine running smoothly and at the right temperature to avoid malfunction. The construction of these systems is fairly complex and can sometimes require a whole team of people to properly assemble one plane before it's ready for its first test flight. Thanks to the skilled engineers and technicians that work on these planes, developments in aeronautic design and technology continue to speed ahead. The practice has expanded to include other types of aircraft as well, such as helicopters, gliders, and even drones. Speaking of drones, have you ever heard of FPV technology? FPV, or first person view, is a concept that would have been considered an unrealistic fantasy to many RC fans just a few years ago. With recent advancements in FPV technology, RC pilots can now go full Top Gun, meaning that they can control their planes from the ground while simultaneously having a perfect first-person real-time view, as if they were in the cockpit themselves. A truly immersive experience is now achievable through the transmission of live video from a camera mounted on the plane to the pilot's goggles or monitor. Recent open source developments in this technology like this Cliff Wireless Bluetooth Head Tracker allows the pilot to change their perspective in perfect unison with its onboard camera. Using gadgets like this, you can now recreate the adrenaline-fueled experience of shooting down an enemy plane during a dogfight or performing gravity-defying aerobatics without having to risk losing your lunch with standing multiple g-forces. Stunts like these aren't as easy as they look. While flying a commercial drone using FPV technology like this DJI Mavic Pro is relatively easy for most amateurs, flying an RC model jet even without FPV goggles requires a deep understanding of the aircraft and its capabilities, especially when it's capable of reaching record-breaking speeds. Even the most experienced pilots are prone to crashes with expensive consequences. Despite the potential for pain and frustration, many enthusiasts around the world remain devoted to the cycle of designing, building, flying, crashing, and rebuilding RC planes. Why? Because it provides a vital source of not only adrenaline, but also community and a fundamental understanding of what makes things go. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. For more videos about artificial intelligence, science, and technology, subscribe to the channel. And while you're at it, watch another video here.